It's your boy Noto coming to another video, coming to you with another podcast, man. And in today's podcast, we're going to discuss why women are rude to handsome slash let men, man. And if you're new here or you already been here, go ahead and click that like button. Go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and click, go ahead and click that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop a video. And without further ado, let's going to dive into this topic. And you know, as usual, I'm always fucking up on my intro, man. Always messing up on my damn intro. But it is what it is. I don't give a damn. We finna dive into the subject. Anyway, women are rude to handsome men, guys. Handsome and select men. Oh, yeah. Rude. Women are very, they will be very, very rude. People in general will be rude. But I'm going to make this about the women this one, on this one, guys. Because, like, I'm, like, thinking, like, damn. What's, what, what's, what's with it? It seems like, why, why is there, like, a personal vendetta when it comes to, like, a man being select? I don't understand. Like, it almost seemed like the woman just be like, Damn, what the hell are you what the hell are you doing looking so good? What how dare you look good? Like, the fuck do you mean how do I look? I just I can't just walk out the door and be who I am. They will really treat you like that. It'll be rude to you for no damn reason. Like, say for instance, say for instance, I remember I had to went to a line, right? Went through a line and I got some sweet potatoes, right? So I'm going through the line, everybody else getting the cordial treatment, everybody else getting the nice treatment. Okay, I'm good. I'm thinking I'm finna walk up and get the nice treatment. She come and snatch my damn potatoes and throw it on the damn and just and just throw it on the uh on the scanner. I'm like, what the hell are you doing to me? Just throw it on the scanner. You just gotta say, fuck him. Like damn, what like like I actually did something to them. I'm like, it seemed like when you come across these types of women, guys, they they gonna make it, they gonna treat you like you didn't hit them, smash them, and pass them or something like that, and you just traumatize them in their past or something like that. I don't know if you bring back past trauma to them or something, but they always want to treat you like that. They're going to they gonna make it seem like you did something to them. You ain't never seen them a day in your damn life. Ain't never seen them a day in your life, and they're going to treat you like you done something to them. I'm like, seriously. Like, that was just, just rude. I'm talking about everybody in line getting special, nice treatment, chilling. It was other guys and everything, because was, it was kind of in a long line. All the registers was kind of full. And I'm like, damn it, I'm not going to jump over there. Oh, shit, I'm always wait where I'm at. Everybody else got down there full of buggies. I was chilling. I, I, I wasn't in a rush to go nowhere, nothing like that either. So, shit, I was just chilling. She gonna grab my potatoes and just throw them on the damn scanner. I'm like, damn. Bro, it's just, it's, it's just rude. And there's another instance. When I was at work, I'm chilling. The supervisor, she handing out everything else to everybody else. And, like, she just made me pick my paper up. Every long saying, it'd be, like, little stuff like that. It'd be little subtle stuff, little passive stuff that they'll just do. And just be rude. But I know what it, what it really is, guys. This is why they really be rude. I mean, really because they already know your ability to be able to attract women. They know that deep down, they had an attraction to you. They look like, you look like a dude that can get other women. Preferably women that look better than them. That's, that's really what it is. They know that you can get women better than them. So it's almost like, like I say, they're not fond of giving out free validation as it is. As I've said in my, my video, about why uh why women look away when they see a handsome slap to man. Go and check that video out, by the way. It's doing pretty good. But anyway, they're not really keen on giving out free validation, guys. So as it is, they already like kind of like, okay, I- I'm not trying to get this dude no attention. But when they add that little rude sauce to it, it's almost you become like public enemy enemy number freaking one, bro. You get public enemy number fucking one. Because it's like, damn, what have I done to deserve this? What did I do? What did I do? Like, damn. Another time, I was at, I was at Walmart, right? I'm chilling, right? Because I'm coming over, and I was trying to figure out what line I wanted to go in. So it was a, dude, it was a, it was a girl with a dude, right? So she going to sit there and try to, like, cut me in line, and the dude going to sit there and look at me crazy. I'm like, the fuck you about to do? Like, but I, don't know what, I don't know what the hell y'all got going on, make it seem like what you... You just think I'm soft, man. I get up and knock your mother, boy. Don't play with me. Knock your motherfucking ass out. Straight up. I don't give a damn what I had to grab, but don't play with me, bro. And they'll do it just like that. They'll be rude and try to incorporate they do like he finna do something. Seriously. They will do like they will do that stuff to you. People will be rude to you in general. But when the women do it, it's almost just a soul. It's just because it's, it, it seems like it comes out of a place of spite, though. It comes out of a place of spite because, you know, a lot of women, they'll, that didn't have, you know what I'm saying, are average looking or unfortunate, especially in the unfortunate looking women, they had bad experiences with handsome, sad, select men. So 
when they when they encounter one or something like that, most likely they already feel like they don't have a chance with them anyway. So they're gonna be like, shit, I just treat you like trash because you, you don't want me anyway. You wouldn't want me anyway. So they already go into it with a with a loser mentality saying, okay, I ain't finna get them anyway. So it's fuck them. Straight up. And, and to be honest, to, to reverse that, it's a lot of guys that's like that. Yeah, they, they automatically, they automatically uh disqualify themselves when they see a really bad chick. It's getting to the point where Dudes will look at a bad chick and just automatically just be like, man, fuck her. Because they know they can't get her. It's because they know they can't get her, bro. And, and it's almost like, it's a fucky when it's, I never had no good experience with these types of women. These types of women don't ever go for me. So let's fuck them. I ain't even going to give them no attention, no, none of that. She thinks she all that. None of that. And you never know. It'd be, it could be a lot of beautiful women that are real cool, but you are you already disqualifying them and you, you're generalizing and you're, and you're putting them and you're putting them all into one category as categorizing them. That's what I meant to say. You're categorizing all of them as in like they're sedity stuck up and all that. There are some really cool, really fine chicks out here, bro. There's some really cool dimes that you would want to call it because dimes could be subjective. A dime in this guy's eye could be, a, could be like a, a six in this guy's eyes. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. If she's a dime to you, that's what I look at it like that. If she's a dime to you. So... Basically, it's just like they'll they'll look at that. You'll disqualify themselves. That's the same thing they do. They just disqu- they automatically disqualify themselves when they see a select guy. So it's like, man, fuck that dude. I ain't finna do nothing because I know he ain't finna do it for me. Especially if they're hanging out with other chicks that they know they look better than them, and they're like a group of chicks. They gonna be the one that's thingy. You know what I'm saying? They gonna be the one that's always calling for the uh the cop block. That's cop blocking. Want be the one wanting to leave early and, and try to drag the girls home early and stuff like that. You know. The cop block out the group. It'd be a lot of them too. And you'll be surprised. It's actually a lot of attractive women that are like that. That are really like that. That that'll that'll automatically disqualify themselves from the select man. So while they say, okay, I ain't finna deal with him, they might have had a bad experience. Like I was saying, a lot of this shit is PTSD. And I'm glad uh, a dude commented that when I was talking about uh handsome select men and uh, why they hate on other handsome select men. Yeah. That, that a, a lot of that play in, in, into it too. Because you never know the experiences they had with these type of people. So they feel like, shit, I, I, I ain't finna get them no attention. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna treat them bad because I feel like, oh, he, he, they played me, they played me, and he looked like a player, so he looked like he had that same char- character. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know if that dude had charisma and he, he had some type of uh, aura about him. He had his, the, his personality. You might exhibit some of the traits that he had. So when that come back, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that tick come back, you know what I mean? That, that oh, damn it, what is this feeling? And I hate so much, and it's almost to the point it's involuntary. It's almost like, yeah, it's involuntary at this point. So now it's like, damn, it ain't nothing, it don't matter what you do. You could be the coolest person in the world, but they ain't gonna give you a chance because of what the trauma that person put them through. So now every select man in their eyes gotta go, gotta go down. And, and and a lot of those times, you gotta really be around that person a lot to actually end up somewhat changing their mind. So you gotta constantly be around them. They'll be like, oh, so he really isn't like this. But in the back of their mind, they always gonna be waiting on you to betray them. You see what I mean? So it, it's like a it it, 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 it it could be like a re, it's like a revolving door. It's definitely a revolving door when it comes to that, guys. Like so, with, with them being rude, it could really just be some internal conflict, internal psychological conflict with them, with the women and and just the regular people. We can we can make about videos about women, but people in general can be rude to uh, handsome and select men. Yes. People in general, I had several guys at work, they'll try to come and, you know, they'll try to come, try, come try to bogard you or something like that. Or y'all waiting in line or the clock out for, for lunch. They'll try to act like they're trying to skip you. Or something. It's always some little passive ass shit. It always comes passively. You know, sometimes like a lot of dudes are kind of blatantly act like they really ain't cool with you. You can be like, what's up? And they'll look the other way. You know what I'm saying? It all, all, all kind of little bullshit. And I'm not saying that, okay, every dude that you see, gotta fuck with you or something like that but you but you could tell the difference between whether it's hate or whether it's like okay I, 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 i'm not a friendly dude no you you, you can see them parlaying and and, and and saying what's up to everybody else this this how i discern whether whether somebody has some smoke with me or they just in a bad mood i, I look at how they treat everybody else if they're treating everybody else cool and they laughing and joking with them when they come to me it's me mugging yeah i don't fuck with you you ain't fucking with me it's smoke that's how I do it. That's how I discern it. I look at how y'all treating other people. That's how I discern how, if a girl is treating me, if the women are being rude to, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I haven't just been like, okay, 
they'll be like, hey, Noodle, she might just be in a mad, she might just be in a bad mood. Okay, then, why she ain't in a bad mood with every fucking body else? Then? She could be, if she's in a bad mood, everybody got smoke. I ain't fucking with nobody. I ain't, everybody getting the cold shoulder, not just one person. And if you end up being that person that seems like you getting, you getting, you getting uh, singled out, and she's being rude to you, she giving you the cold shoulder, and she doing little stuff around you, tossing you stuff, you know, to give you that little aggressive energy, like like she got smoke or she got energy, like she needs something to get off her motherfucking chest. Then why 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 you just won't just discern it to make it seem like, okay, yeah, she's being rude to me, because she's not treating everybody else like that. You see what I mean? That's how you know. That's how you can tell whether the rudeness is being you. Remember when I told you about the lady in the line? Everybody else was getting nice, friendly treatment. When it came up to me, she threw my motherfucking potato, uh, sweet potatoes on the damn scanner. Yeah, on the scanner. That time when the, uh, the girl and the, and the dude that came over there, when she was trying to cut me in line, they was they were treating other people with respect. But when I, all of a sudden, when I come over there, had my tank top on, it's a problem. I'm getting ready to smack the fuck out that girl. <laughs> Play on me. And I don't give a damn. I, I hope that dude do see this video. I will smack the fuck out you. Anyway. <laughs> Man, I ain't finna be over here threatening nobody and shit like that. It is what it is. You know what's up. I ain't finna back down. You already know what time it is. You see me in person. You can do what you want to do or you can get the fuck on. That's how I am. Anyway, that's how it is, bro. That's why women and people are rude to handsome, handsome staff select men, guys. I ain't gonna even feed, try to stretch this out even further. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I, I just gave y'all a whole lot of points. And let me know what y'all feel about what y'all feel about this in the comments, bro. Let me know how y'all feel about that in the comments, guys. But anyway, it's your boy Nodo. Coming to you with another video. Coming to you with another podcast, man. And if you're enjoying the content, go on and click that like button. Go on and comment. Go on and subscribe. And click that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop a video.